What we have here is the cutting of the parts for a universal joint. This is the first project which I've designed entirely in Fusion 360. I've been wanting to learn Fusion for some time and I still have a long way to go, but I'm happy that I'm finally making some headway. One of the reasons I'm so keen to learn Fusion is that it allows me to design using parameters. The biggest problem I have when designing is that I need to know the thickness of the material in order to make the joints fit accurately. If I don't have the material when I start designing, this means guessing or having poorly fitting joints or modifying the design once I have the material. The cam function in Fusion allows me to add tabs to the toolpath so that small parts do not fall out of the material when cut. You will see here that I have made the tabs a little bit too big on this design and so the parts had to be cut out rather than just pushing out, but for a first attempt I am happy. The main reason for using Fusion is it allows me to make the thickness a parameter so that once I know the material thickness I can enter it into the design and everything is recalculated automatically. Another advantage of Fusion is that I can take advantage of the cam functions and output a DXF file that compensates for the curve when cutting. This makes for a much better finished product. I have put a link to the Fusion file in the video description as well as a link to the post process I used to create the DXF file which is imported into LaserCut to be able to send the file to the laser cutter. When you look at the Fusion file you will see that some of the parts in the cut layout are upside down, so when you change the material thickness they don't all line up. This does not affect the output as it is a 2D design, but in future I will make sure that the orientation of the parts is the right way around. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.